Hello everyone, myself Shuangi Desai. I am your instructor for the video series of Python for Data Science. Today's our topic is histogram. So let's understand how we can plot this histogram in Python. A histogram is a plot of the frequency distribution of numeric array by splitting it into small equal size beams. It is an estimate of the probability distribution of a continuous variable. We can say it is a kind of bar graph. Now in histogram, we tend to divide our data into some specific range that is called beams. To plot this histogram in Python, we have hist method which is used to create the histogram using matplotlib library. So let's explore this method. So here in this code, I first have imported this matplotlib.pyplot library as plt. I have also used this line magic function that is matplotlib inline. Now I am taking my data into a list with the label blood sugar which means I am storing my data inside a list blood sugar. Now using plt.hist I can plot the data of blood sugar. So here in the bracket I am passing the variable name that is blood sugar. So let's run this code. This figure is a histogram of the data that we pass inside the dot hist method. Now here are some information printed along with the histogram. The first one is the number of samples that falls within a particular range and second is the range of our bins. By default it will plot 10 different bins as we haven't specified any specific range for the bins the default value for bins is 10. So here are the division of our total data into the 10 different ranges that is 80 to 87, 87 to 94, 94 to 101, 101 to 108, 108 to 115, 115 to 122, 122 to 129, 129 to 136, 136 to 143 and 143 to 150. So these are our 10 different beans with the specified ranges. And here is the count of samples that fall within these ranges. Now if you want to specify the size of the bean. In our example I want to divide my data into 3 different beans. So, while plotting this data into plt.hist, along with the variable, I am also passing the size of the beans using beans parameter. So, I am passing the size of the beans as 3. So, let's run this code. In this figure, you can check that our data is now divided into 3 beans. That is starting from 80 to 103, 103 to 126 and 126 to 150. So in this case, the range of the beans are decided based on the number of beans. Here it returns the count of the samples that falls within the particular range of beans. In this example, we can see that all the beans are connected. I want to separate that beans for better understanding. So for that, we have to use this parameter R width. Using our width, we can separate this beans or we can say we can place a little gap between connected beans. So let's run this code. So now you can check this between all the beans there is a little gap. The gap that we have specified here in our width parameter. So we have to use this parameter inside the plt.hist method. Now rather than specifying the number of beans, I want to specify the range of the beans. Why? Because in some situation, we want to divide our data based on the specific range. Say for example, here, the blood sugar data, I want to distribute depending on its value. Say for example, the blood sugar level between 80 to 100 is considered to be normal. Between 100 to 125 is considered to be pre-diabetic. And the blood sugar greater than 125 is considered as diabetic. That's why I want to divide this data into the three beans according to this range. So in this case also we have to use beans parameter that we have previously used to specify the number of beans. We can use the same parameter to specify the range of the beans. So in plt.hist method I am first passing the variable blood sugar which contains my data that I want to plot in histogram. 
second i am passing beans parameter in which i am specifying a list of range here i am specifying four range which means my data will be divided into three bins and the range of the beans are 80 to 100 100 to 125 and 125 to 200 also i am giving the parameter r width is equal to 0 0.95 to place a gap between the beans so let's run this code so now from the output you can check this that our beans are divided into this particular range only that is 80 to 100 100 to 125 and 125 to 200 that we have specified here in the beans parameter also it will return us the number of samples that falls within particular range now if you want to change the color of the histogram if we want to change the color we have to use the parameter color now in color we are supposed to pass the value that we want to use so here i'm changing the color from blue to red so let's run this code so now our histogram is represented in red color so we have to use this color parameter inside the plt.hist method the next designing property is hist type hist type is equal to step will return the histogram in a step manner so rather than uh, showing the filled histogram it will show us the outline histogram only for that we have to use this his type parameter inside the plt.hist method with the value step now if you want to plot multiple data in previous example i have plotted only a single variable that is blood sugar but now i want to plot the two variable that is blood sugar of male and blood sugar of women so for that we have to use a single hist only that is plt.hist method in which i will pass a list of variable that contains my data for histogram so here in list my first variable is blood sugar male and second is blood sugar female now i want to specify the range of my beans so i am using the parameter beans and inside a list i am specifying the range of all my beans here i am specifying four ranges which means there are total number of three beans i am also giving the r width is equal to 0 0.95 and if you want to specify the different color for different plotting then we have to use this list in list i am passing two different color for two different parameter that is blood sugar of male and blood sugar of women so for that i am taking a list green for the male and or orange for the women if you want to use the legion to specify which color represents whose data then we have to take the label for two different data i am taking two labels inside a list that is male and female and using plt.legion method we can specify this legions inside the histogram so let's run this code so as you can see now my histogram contains plotting of two variables that is blood sugar of male and female. I am also specifying this legion and the color of the data is changed as per the parameter. Now if you want to specify the values to your x axis and y axis and if you want to give the title to your histogram then we have to use plt.x label for x axis plt.y label for y axis and plt.title method to give title to our histogram so here i'm giving the x label sugar range y label as total number of patients and i'm giving the title blood sugar analysis now inside the plt.hist method i'm passing both the variable inside a list i'm giving the range of my beans i'm setting r width is equal to 0 0.95 and also setting the colors and label for the legion so let's run this code so now you can check this the labels associated with the x-axis and y-axis also there is a title associated with the entire graph now if you want to change the color of this labels for that we have to use the parameter color inside the x label y label and title method so here i'm giving uh, color red to x label color blue to y label and color brown to our title and all other parameter are the same as above code so let's run this code so now my x axis are represented in red color y axis are represented in blue color and the title is given in brown color now if you want to add the grid 
inside our graph then we just have to use plt.grid method using this method we will able to add the grid lines in our graph so now you can check in the result that there are square boxes inside our histogram and last parameter is orientation there are two possible orientation that is horizontal and vertical by default our graph is presented in a vertical orientation but if you want to represent your graph in a horizontal orientation we have to use this parameter orientation and have to pass the value horizontal inside our plt.hist method so here in this code i am giving x label y label and title inside plt.hist i am passing two variables that is blood sugar of male and blood sugar of women i am specifying the range of the beans i am also specifying the r width that is relative width of 0.95 i am specifying the color for both the data and giving label for the legend and now i am setting orientation is equal to horizontal so when i run this code my graph is plotted in a horizontal manner so in this way we can use this histogram to plot our data in python so that's it for this lecture thank you